Thy word is truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us to the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us to the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. Good morning, beloved. You are all welcome to this word of truth. The topic of the word of truth of today is, But the hand of all things is at hand. But the hand of all things is at hand. Our Bible text is taken from the book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 7, that says, But the hand of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. A thing that has beginning definitely must have an end. The disciples came to our Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3, that says, And as he sat upon the mount of olives, olives the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? The answers to these three questions asked by the disciples were written in Matthew 24. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave them the signs one by one up to when he shall appear to take the elects home. Looking and studying the book of Matthew 24, 24 very well, we will see all the signs as almost come to fulfillment. This is the end time, beloved. Danger of end times are all over the world. The end of all things is at hand. This is the time to take it. This is the time to watch. This is the time to pray more. The head is ripe for harvest. The, ri- the reapers is coming very soon to separate the wheat from the ties and to gather the wheat into his barn. Jesus Christ is coming very soon for his elects, for those who are looking forward for his coming. There is nothing in the world. We should not be deceived with the vain glory of this world that we soon pass away. The world is passing by with all its cares and affection. But he that dwells the will of God abideth forever. Beloved, the hand of all things is at hand. Many things are going on in the world now. This is the time to take it. This is the time to be more careful, to pay attention and to watch. We should be careful of what we read, what we watch, what we see, hear, or listen to. Many deceivers are in the world now. Many fake doctrines, belief, and wrong teaching and wrong teaching are in the world now. We must be careful and watch. This is the time to pray more to God to keep us in holiness and righteousness for His coming. This is the time to pray more to God to be with us, to protect us, to save us, save, and to account us worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before him when he comes. The end of all things is at hand. The word of God says in the book of Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to 14 that says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent yield. The heart also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all, all, in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and asking unto the coming of the, of the day of God, wherein the heaven, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, a new head, where in dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Amen. I pray so shall it be for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, let's take these prayers together. In Jesus' name, Father, prepare me ready for your coming. In Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, prepare me ready for your coming. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 
God bless you. Shalom.